Hey everybody, Dan here. Uh, sorry about the format of this vlog. Um, it's very informal, not with like a DSLR like usual when when I'm when nothing's really happening where it's just me talking. But uh, this is basically kind of doing this last minute. Um, I meant to do stuff, but I've been really crazy busy this week. Um, almost every night uh, we've been either recording things or uh, with Steven or things like that. So this is kind of just doing this last minute. And sorry about the noise, if you can hear it in the background. I'm actually doing laundry, um, getting ready and packed for uh, tomorrow. Uh, my sister and I are gonna be heading up to Atlanta this weekend. What, what? For a cousin weekend, which will be really exciting. Um, you'll get to see Emily and Michael. Um, sadly, Kyle and Caitlin uh, won't be joining us, but um, we're, 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 gonna, we're gonna have fun. Um, so this week I wanted to talk about um, basically kind of a feeling that you get when you meet somebody that you either know from TV or from films or even from YouTube and kind of just how it just kind of feels really strange and you get really excited. Um, I first experienced this uh, when I met Rhett and Link in 2007. It was really fun. It was really kind of crazy um, and this was way back before you know they had all the subscribers that they have now because they have all of them not all of them but they've got a real good number compared to you know what it was uh seven years ago that's crazy um but even then it was just really crazy to be like oh man i'm meeting these guys you know i really enjoy their content and stuff and so um so i got to meet them and that was kind of cool everything that you've experienced about them has been through videos and things like that. And so, you know, seeing them in real life is just kind of weird. I don't know, it's it's definitely, you know, really kind of surreal. Some of y'all probably don't know this, but uh, actually the next year later, I actually uh, interned for them in December of 2008 for two weeks. Um, I'll talk about that in a future vlog at some point. And I had this experience again in freshman year where uh, I was in an English class and I was told to you know write a paper basically about an artist who's changing their medium you know somebody that's making an impact in their field or whatever and so I chose stand-up comedy and I chose uh, comedian Brian Regan um, he's one of the best comedians he's super hilarious super goofy super you know just just great comedian and I had been a fan of his since uh, middle school. A part of it was, you know, biography and then, you know, how he's changing. And I realized that there's really, there wasn't, you know, a lot of information about Brian Regan um, at the time. Uh, there's very little on Wikipedia. And so I decided to take the initiative and write his, um, you know, his publicist or his, yeah, I guess it's publicist, and say, you know, you know, tell him the whole situation. I was like, hey, you know, do you think I could, you know, maybe interview him? And so they said, yeah, send us your phone number and we'll, you know, we'll have him call you in a couple of days. And I was like, holy crap. And so, like, I was getting, like, real nervous and, you know, because it was, you know, this person who I'm going to be able to spend, you know, ear phone to phone conversation time with, you know, um... And it is, it's crazy. And, and part of my brain, I was like, no, we're, we're not gonna be able to talk. You know, he's something's probably gonna happen. He, he might have a schedule thing and whatever. But he called me and, uh, and, and it was crazy. And um, I got to talk with him, you know. And so that whole experience was just crazy. Um, I was pretty dang nervous, but I feel like I, you know, considering I, I did pretty well. Um, this actually happened uh, last night. Um, the Sunray Cinema here in Jacksonville um, was having a, like a sneak preview of Grand, uh, the, the Grand Budapest Hotel, um, as, as, uh, put here. Uh, it's, it's the new Wes Anderson film. It was really awesome, but what was awesome was that they had, uh, Tony Revolori. Is that how you pronounce it? I think. Um, he actually plays the lobby boy, uh, in the film. And, um, he was actually there, and we had a QA. and a It was really cool, really awesome. Um, he, he's one of the two main characters in the whole movie and he's, you know, like sitting like right there, like a row or two in front of us and it's crazy, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's got this feeling of holy crap, 
that guy that was in that movie is here and we can ask him questions. Like, that's crazy. Um, so yeah, kind of just that whole kind of weird feeling. Uh, leave comments below. Tell me if you've ever met anybody famous or anything like that and where you kind of felt like this weird, surreal feeling of, is this really happening? Like, what's going on? Um, that'd be really interesting to hear uh, your responses and stuff. Anyway, uh, thanks guys so much for watching. Look out for next week's vlog about the trip that we're going to go on tomorrow. Atlanta, what, what? <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys then. Okay, bye.